welcome to Jurassic World Visitor Center. The new visitor center was something that was utilizing technology, but just felt like a, a modern museum. Please come with me. I'll give you a brief history of neo-paleontology. As you can see now, dino size. We wanted to have something that brought people back to the memory of the John Hammond character. I don't know if that's Ben or Jerry, it was one of them. We wanted a place where kids could learn absolutely as much about dinosaurs as they would ever want to know. Now this thing is badass. This is the Mosasaurus. And then here, of course, the... The P is silent. This park brings people from all over the world. And when you go in the visitor center, you'll see a lot of the images on the screen are in multiple languages. Elevator de la Escapula is a scientific term for how Tyrannosaurus Rex used to use their heads as elevators to lift uh, cavemen up and down. This is all based on science. As you can see, this science doesn't include the men who clearly walked with dinosaurs, I think, 3,000 or 4,000 years ago. All of this was just wish fulfillment stuff. We got to sit down and say, all right, what do I want to see if I get to go to Jurassic World? Sarsine, guamine, admin, and thymine. Same four things and everything that ever lived. This part of the exhibit was, was built by a girl named Amber. Um, I don't know why she put her name on it so big. Probably just, she probably is related to one of the execs at Universal or something. And that is a brief history on Neo, paleontology, with Chris Pratt. Peace him out.